Hey guys, don't forget to press the save button. Beep. And the subscribe button. As you guys may have already noticed, I'm actually one of the oldest content creator on YouTube. But my exposure to computers actually go way beyond and way before YouTube. So this is actually <laughs> a diner book. So today I'm gonna walk you through my experience with computers, particularly computer audio system. I actually used to be a sound enthusiast. That means I really love audio equipments. <laughs> I'm not so sure if you can relate to that or not. So I like speakers and even for every speakers, I like to use like customized, very high quality cables. And I like things like uh, home theater, surround sound, very, very good audio. I mean, in back in those days, it was like headphones, you know, very good headphones. So even the headphones that I used to use were around like four, five hundred dollars each. So it's pretty crazy when when it comes to audio. So back in those days, basic computers like this, they they don't really have audio. They have like some very basic sound like beat. You know, <laughs> I'm not I'm not so sure if you have heard of those or not. Like when you turn on the computer and then there's like a teat sound, but this teat sound actually goes for the entire computer so there was like nothing you know it's it's just teeth and maybe you know that's that's all so so these are like the older computer you can see like japanese words on it you can see so japanese hiragana katakana Dine book from japan so as i grew up i actually have the privilege to experience many different, to, to basically grow up with computers. I've had the experience of using like x86, 186, 286, 386, 486, Pentium, MMX, Pentium 1, Pentium 2, Pentium 3, Pentium 4, and with all this revolution in technology, I've actually get to experience the revolution in computer audio systems as well. I'm not so sure if you guys can relate to that, but if you are in your 30s or in your 40s, you may have been through what I've been through. So back in the days where computer audio system was at its infancy, there was a brand that keeps dominating the market. It is called Creative Labs. Back in those days when I was using this 486 computer uh, I, I had the creative sound blaster 16 I can't remember it was, if it was 486 or 386 <laughs> but basically the first computer that I had audio CD on it I think it was 486 it's a Werns computer and then I get uh, very immersed and addicted to computer audio system because like I, I was very fascinated with the fact that a computer can play so many different things that uh, I, I don't need my audio equipment like uh, like my CD player and, and like a separate tape player everything can be done on my computer and and I can even read the files on the CD so I was I became very very fascinated and there begins my journey in computer audio system so when MIDI was first introduced to computer, there was the creative all 64 sound card. There's like all 32, all 64. All I think is like from awesome, you know what I mean? So A, A, W, E. So all 64. So I, I got the all 64 gold, uh, which is back then is the highest uh, quality uh, version of sound cards. So I used that sound card to produce like MIDI and back then there was this thing called sound fonts. It's kind of like musical instrument samples of today. Okay, so uh, I, I've used it to create like music. I use it to listen to MIDI files that other people created. So it was like extremely fascinating to me. And back before even people 
talk about speaker systems, you know, <laughs> computer speaker system. I've already gotten a my myself a 4.1 surround sound, which I developed myself because back then there was no surround sound yet. So I've actually used a splitter to create two front speakers with my subwoofer and two back speakers. 4.1 surround sound on my all 64 before anyone even like heard about home theater surround sound. And then about two to three years, uh, actually a few years later, Creative released their Sound Blaster Live. And if you have purchased the highest end version, which is called Sound Blaster Live Platinum, it comes with the Live Drive. And I got the Live Drive 2, which is like even better than the first edition. So, <laughs> so this was one of my earlier computers. You can you can see there's a floppy disk drive over there. Do you, are you guys aware of what a floppy disk drive is? So this is a floppy disk drive and this is a iOmega iOmega uh, floppy disk with I think 100 or 250 megabytes. <laughs> megabytes, come on man. Okay, so this is my DVD recorder and this is uh, my DVD. Uh, reader, so I have a reader and a recorder so that I can uh, make, make copies and back up my computer and you see even I have even an optical, digital optical in and optical out. So back then, back then I was already exposed to bullets flying around, you know, bullets flying around uh, when I play games. <laughs> so and, and when I watch movies especially. So I used to use the Cambridge Soundworks, I'm going to show you in a little bit. Alright guys, so this is what I kind of grew up with, like my first high-end computer speakers so i used to use like uh, other computer speakers which are also high-end they're pretty good as well like in 2.1 uh, computer system by altec lansing <laughs> and then my first 4.1 surround sound speakers was this one it's really really uh, high quality back then so it's front left front right you know and <laughs> And of course, the rear speakers uh, is right now. I just simply put it around. Fast forward, when the Pentium 3 was introduced, I got myself a Sound Blaster Audigy Platinum. <laughs> Still the best version. So this is the Audigy Platinum. So the live, it, it is pretty similar to Live Drive, but better. You know, it has the FireWire connection. And back then, this was extremely fast it's like almost usb 2.0 equivalent uh, when it comes to speed and yeah i have a, a dvd uh, recorder and dvd player and floppy dark drive and of course external floppy drive as well so yeah and with this sound blaster audigy platinum i get to expose uh, to the first 5.1 surround sound uh, of computer system. So back then I got the Creative Inspire 5300, the 5300. So, and with this optical connection over here at the front, I connect it to a keyboard and I play my keyboard, mesmerizing my friend on the internet with that true MSN Messenger. <laughs> that shows how old I am. That's why I'm one of the first few content creators on YouTube before even Google took over YouTube. And then fast forward when notebook computer becomes a norm. Creative has actually extended their technology into notebook sound cards as well. So this was the Audigy 2 ZS notebook and one of the first 24-bit sound card and with THX certified <laughs> and even back then so many years ago like more than a decade ago so I was already using a notebook a laptop sound card with 5.1 surround sound and digital out I'm crazy when it comes to audio quality this was my baby when I was in college. Fast forward until a few years ago. Connected. <laughs> it's connected to my iPhone. 
So fast forward a few years ago, I got this katana. Oh my god, crazy. And even the katana, it can function as a sound card by itself. You just connect it to your computer uh, through the USB port and it, it's, it's already like a sound card, like an external sound card. And the best thing is that it has a 7.1 surround sound it's it's a discrete 7.1 surround sound but because it's it is coming from this sound bar the sound is like like virtual <laughs> virtual 7.1 basically you can hear the effect of the sound bouncing around like uh, your walls and uh, it creates like a, a 7.1 surround sound environment now let me show you my latest sound card from Creative Labs, the Sound Blaster X4. Okay, so I'm gonna run you through uh, my setup a little bit. So all my cables that are connected to my speakers are customized cables. So I actually custom made every single one. Uh, with very very high quality material there's no interference from other cables or from any other electrical signals the audio quality that are transferred from my creative sound blaster x4 to my receiver is absolutely pure and i always use very short cables so that's the least interference uh, as possible this is my receiver so basically uh, it is from logitech as a front speaker okay so this is my youtube play button so as a front speaker i have the bose i think this is the bose 530 if i'm not mistaken a center speaker i have a jbl so they are all connected with very high quality audio cables as well my calf speakers basically i run the cables myself so that's why uh, they, they look pretty messy <laughs> all the YouTube stuff. Of course, I have a lot more than here. Here are my side speakers, which is also from JBL. So I have two standing side speakers. Basically, this sound card over here is able to run a 7.1 discrete surround sound to all my 7.1 the subwoofer speakers over here. It's a creative app. Okay, uh, it's meant for uh, this sound card as well as uh, a few other creative sound card. Okay, I'm gonna show you. So at the moment, this is running at 24 bit, 96 kilohertz. Okay, which is 96,000 hertz, which is what my receiver is able to support. 96, 24. Front, left, front, right, front, center. Rear, left, rear, right, side, left, side, right. To me, whether when I game or when I watch a movie, having that very immersive experience is very very important because I want to be I want to feel like I'm actually in the movie itself. So I I love to be immersed in the movie. Let me just show you an example. <laughs> Rengoku sama. If you have heard of the term hologram, you would maybe understand the new sex file technology from Creative. Do you see the headphone jack over here? If you actually have a decent, pretty good headphones, this sound card can actually pump sound directly into our ears. Uh, which is how natural sound should sound like rather than like from the headphones and just having some vibration and you hear like sound like this sound card is actually able to create the sound and pump it into our ears and, and make the sound like extremely immersive as if we are hearing the sound from within it is kind of like hologram so when we are looking at a 2d picture um, we just see like a, a two, let's, let's say Hatsune Miku. Okay, so let's say we look at Hatsune Miku dancing in 2D. This not as immersive, 
you know, the, the feeling is not that good. But if you actually see a Hatsune Miku hologram dancing, which, where you can see from every side, that is basically explaining the sex file technology in graphical, uh, so, so that you can imagine how it looks like. Basically, it's like a hologram within our head. So aside from analog connection, which is what I'm doing right now, I directly connect 7.1 surround sound to this sound card to the speakers. We can actually connect it, there's an optical jack over here, which will send all 5.1 and 7.1 surround sound uh, signals into like an audio amplifier that we have. In case we are using the optical connection which is the SPDRF connection we just have to set this as default so within this creative app itself there are a lot of different functions so this is the super sex file which is uh, that's the sex file technology which is what I've explained earlier the hologram and this acoustic engine where you can like have a crystallizer which makes the sound like super clear like all every audio detail is uh, heard from like our speakers or our headphones and there's a surround sound which uh, improve the like it gives you like a virtual speaker kind of feeling okay and then uh, and there's equalizer and then onboard equalizer smart communication kits if you have like uh, like uh, all these I mean if you use a lot of uh, like zoom meeting crystal voice Okay, this is to enhance our voice so that we can be heard clearly. Direct mode, that means um, how the sound should be heard. How, how the sound is intended to be heard. Uh, so this mode, if you turn this on, uh, basically everything is original. There's no like equalizer or no enhancements. Okay? Scout mode, this is for gamers. Gamers! <laughs> So when we are gaming, it is very important to like if, if let's say we are in a first person shooting game like CSGO We want to hear where are the enemies at So sometimes, a lot, a lot of times we can't see you know, A lot of times we can't see where the enemies are But if we can hear them, that give us a very much uh, extra advantage I've already get to I've already gotten to experience such things since Sound Blaster Live. Since a lot of people don't even know about computer audio system. So today is a lot more sophisticated. Like you can hear the exact uh, footsteps. So you can close your eyes and shoot aim and and the enemy dies. You know what I mean? So scout mode is cool. designed to help you hear beyond what you see such as footstep speech and weapon weaponry handling like <laughs> yeah those kind of things okay and then we have like encoder this this is for the SPDIF out which is the the, the, the digital out so Dolby digital live uh, mix all the stereo effect into 7.1 and finally we have the mixer the mixer is like just something simple what device we're using whether it's a stereo mix spdif fast through uh, and then we have uh, playback recording settings and yeah with this sound card you can actually update the firmware the drivers and the application as well so really really sophisticated really really sophisticated like everything is automatic and of course, with my keyboard connected to my computer, I can actually play my piano in 7.1 surround sound. That kind of experience is unexplainable. Basically, the only thing that I would like this sound card to improve on is actually on the SEO drivers. If you guys are not aware, uh, there's a delay between like recording, like for example, our MIDI or piano recording or voice recording. Uh, it's, it's, it's like a very, very slight delay, but with the SEO driver, that kind of delay is fixed. Unfortunately, this sound card uh, does not support the SEO for all uh, free drivers, 
so I wish creative would have their own SEO drivers so that we are not gonna have problem with latency when it comes to recording yeah creative please take note of that all right guys so I've actually talked a lot about my experience with computer audio systems my sound card basically my entire history of using the computer I'm a crazy geek I'm gonna go back to enjoying my high-class Atas classical music on this 7.1 surround sound system and see you guys in the next video